Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to talk about my personal favorite add-ons for collection purposes. These include mounts, pets, toys, and even Drake customizations. When it comes to add-ons, I try to download as little of them as possible. These, however, are very convenient and I could not resist downloading them. Oh, and what mount am I riding? It's the Horrid Dreadwing from a rare in Revendreth called Harika the Horrid. You have to be Venthyr Covenant to get this mount. Without any further ado, let's get right into the video. The first add-on I'd like to talk about is the Rarity add-on. This add-on counts the attempts on your mounts, pets or toys you are farming. When you get an item you've been farming for, a small achievement pop-up will appear, which for me is very satisfying. It will also take a screenshot when you get an item. You can change all of these options if you don't like them. You can also choose which items you want tracked, whether you want it repeatable and so on. There is also an option to input custom items to be tracked, like I did for example with the Liberated Slyvern, which I used to farm, or the Windborne Velocidrake customization from Hallow's End, which I still don't have and didn't get this Hallow's End either. Very useful and satisfying add-on in my opinion, doesn't change your UI, very convenient, I highly recommend for any mount farmer. The next add-on I want to show is called Silver Dragon. This add-on will add these little skulls on your map, showing you the rares and the items they drop. You can play with the options whether you want only mounts, pets, toys or transmogs to be shown in these skulls. Whenever the rare will be close to you, you will get a notification on the bottom right of your screen. This will make a sound and you can change it in the options. You can open the add-on options by typing slash silver dragon in the chat. It doesn't show items from some rares, which is because the rares don't drop anything or just drop basic green items which drop from normal mobs. When it drops a unique green item, the add-on will show it. If the rare has multiple spawn points, it will highlight every spawn point of it. For example, the Beledar spawn. It shows the items it can drop, as well as some information about the rare. It also shows that the rare is a part of the Adventurer of Hallowfall achievement and if you've killed it already or not. Very useful add-on, a lot of customization options, I highly recommend. The only downside is that sometimes a world quest will cover the skull. In this scenario, you can just zoom in on your map, but sometimes the position of the world quest is spot on and there's nothing you can do to see the rare. Well, you can turn off the world quests on your map but don't forget to turn them on later, or just do the world quest. The next add-on is only for battle pets and it's called Rematch. This makes the pet collection more detailed and the most important thing is that you can save teams for a previous enemy you have fought. For example, I have some teams saved when I used to do the battle pet world quests. Now I mostly use just two battle pet teams. One for Christoph von Fiesel and the other for Jeremy Fiesel, both of which are the pet battle daily quests on Dark Moon Island. When you see a pet you like, you can hover over the icon and it will show you the source. Which is pretty neat. And the best thing of this add-on is that when you're about to pet battle something or someone, you can click on this strong versus button and choose the type of the battle pet. This will show you which pets from your collection are strong versus the pet type of your choosing. Let's say I want to deal with an enemy battle pet that is a beast. I simply click on strong versus and choose the beast icon. This will show you all your pets that have an ability that is strong versus beasts. The ability is highlighted with the golden outer glow. So if you're a pet battler, this is a must. Then there is another cool add-on called Mount Journal Enhanced. This, you guessed it, will enhance your mount journal. You can see the mount from all sides, there is a better zoom, and most of the time when you click on the source of the mount, it will show you either on the map or in a dungeon slash raid. It also shows you how many times you have mounted the mount and how many miles you have traveled, how long have you used the mount for and how many people have the mount. 
I think this is just how many people that use the add-on have the mount, but it's still a cool feature and you can feel like your mount is rare or special. Highly recommend this, since the original mount journal is boring. Oh, and there is also this button which syncs the journal with your target, meaning that whenever you are in a mount off or in the mount mania with this turned on, the mount journal will instantly choose the mount of your current target, which is pretty cool. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There are obviously more add-ons than the ones I have mentioned that I use, but these are my favorite ones for collection purposes. There are many more good add-ons I don't use, so why don't you recommend me some in the comments below? I would like to hear and learn about new and cool add-ons to use. Oh, and the random question of the day is... Are you a dog or a cat person? Me personally? I like them both. I have both dogs and cats. But if I had to choose, it would probably be 53% dogs and 47% cats, so I'm more of a dog person. Cats are nice, cute and cuddly, but they are not always at home, while dogs are the same, but are always at home. What about you? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching the video, like it if you liked it, and make sure to blackout kick that subscribe button and use some cleave or AoE to also hit the bell and like button as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later!